Hey everyone, I've got my sketching helper with me today. I've got all my drawing materials and I'm gonna spend some time sketching men. I've had questions and requests about how to draw men and I'm gonna, and uh, I gave it a try yesterday and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give it a try again today and I hope you join me. The thing about men is their features are a little more angular, less round. And so I gotta remember that when I'm when I'm drawing. So I'm gonna try to get, this guy's got a very angular face. Yeah, he's got some kind of, it's fashion illustration, so he's got like this fancy like scarf on. And their shoulders are wider too, so his shoulders come out like this. And I'm not really gonna focus a lot on this part. I'll, I'll get to the physique part. It's really the features that I'm trying to figure out the ears are a little more, everything is more angular the, and less sort of uh, soft or round. So I'm going to give this my best shot. Even the eyes are sort of more like straight across. I don't draw a lot of detail for the eyes if you've watched my videos. And, and again, with this guy, his eyebrows are like closer to the eyelid. The bottom of his ears, I see the nose there. And then I'm just gonna do like, sort of like, like a triangle there for this guy. And even the nose, they give him sort of this angular, angular nose there. And even the lips too, the lips are not they're just sort of straight across when you see the drawings and just like a little tiny um, mark to indicate the, the chin and the bottom of the lip. This guy has a mustache. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do with that, but <laughs> give it a try. Thinner lips. So I'm not trying to do that feminine look. He has, um, this kind of wild hair going on here. It is fashion illustration, so it's going to be a little wilder. Now, if I was to do this again, I'd probably do his face even wider. But it's too late. I've done it. And uh, oh, and I like how they sort of gave his, him a jawline here. Jawline comes down a bit further, and he has facial hair going on here. And they even try to show his angular cheekbones there. And so I'm gonna leave that. I feel like that's okay. Not too bad for just practicing. His shoulders are down here. He's got like this jacket on. This is not vintage what I'm looking at. This is not, I don't, I don't think this is a vintage drawing at all. I think this is just a recent one. It's really hard to find good vintage illustrations. Of, of men. Well, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding it. I feel like his head is kind of small for the body, but you know what? And his neck is too long. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Oh, that would have been better if I did that. The thing about sketching is, it, is you're just practicing. You're just playing around. So that was one sketch. Now I do have a, a one from a book that I'm looking at that's more vintage. And this is more of a caricature or character, if you will. And again, I'm not trying to draw everything the same size. I'm just practicing the faces and seeing what I can do. And this one's more cartoony. This guy has a rounder face. I do like the angular ears. And this guy, actually, this is a vintage um, drawing. So this guy has like a top hat on and a very high hat. I'll just cut it off here, but he has a very high hat on. And he only has hair right here. We'll put a scarf on in his jacket. Okay. And his eyes are very, everything with this one is very simple, even as simple eyebrows. His nose comes down like this. And again, when I'm trying to draw, I am not at all trying to copy exactly what I'm seeing. I'm using my own style. I think I've messed this one up. I don't, I don't like his lips at all. I 
think the men's um, features go further down than the women, like the women, the way their face shape is. I like the angular. I don't like his what I did for his eyes, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Definitely more angular when you're drawing this the man's face, okay? And so I'm just drawing straight lines here. His head is a little bit wider. He's got, okay. We'll see what I'm doing here. He also, everyone I'm doing drawing today has a hat on. nose is the same as the other one where it's like more angular his chin I've got I should it should be further down I'm gonna leave it he even has these little lines to make his like the mark the shadows of where his neck is and then he has this sort of crazy jacket on that goes out like that. And so I'm going to leave that. And again, I like it where with the men where you just sort of do like a little line where the bottom of the, the lip is. I think the shading of their features is going to make a difference when you draw them. All right, I'm gonna try one more, and I think what I'm gonna to try to do is start with more of a rectangle overall, and then see if I can properly map this out. They do, men will have that typical stronger jawline, and I'm gonna get this guy's hairs coming in here, and coming down, he's got the, they have angular ears too, like more angular. And I'm gonna do the mouth like this. This guy's smiling. see how that looks once I start adding the shading in definitely his face could be wider I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna start with the maybe the shading I'm not going to color it all in I don't think want that one pop of color and the rest is going to be I guess more subtle uh, colors
overall happy with it. I like the pops of color and I think I'm gonna keep trying. I think you could see the difference. You know, I started with this guy and I got, it's just not as angular as he should be. Uh, maybe his eyes aren't, um, maybe they're too far apart. And then I don't know what happened with this guy. And, uh, but I do like how these two uh, ended up and I'm gonna keep practicing. Now I'm gonna go over the materials that I use to create these just in case anyone had any questions about that. Every sketch that I, I begin, I almost always begin with a Sharpie marker. Any old Sharpie will do. I like the fine point black Sharpie markers to start my sketches, mainly because I don't want to erase them and get stuck into the draw, erase, draw, erase. I wanna see what I can do with what I've created. The next phase for me once I've done that is to get out the alcohol markers. Now for alcohol markers right now I'm using the Artist Loft. Uh, they have a brush point which I really like any brush point marker or pen just especially when it comes to coloring I like I just like the way it, it touches onto the paper and how I can manipulate it with that. The other side is sort of a flat side. I don't really, I don't really use it that often, but uh, you have the option. The next thing that I do is I'll often add my Artex acrylic markers, uh, just because I like the way this goes onto the paper and the pop of color that it adds to the artwork that I do. And I find it's a great way personally to cover up or try to adjust any perceived mistakes that I make in my drawings. Finally, when I do the details of a drawing, I like to use my Signo gold and white pens. These are gel pens, but any um, gel pen will do. I like the whites for the eyes. I like the gold that I did on uh, the guy's glasses. And sometimes, whoops, sometimes I'll add it to just anywhere I feel like I want to add some squiggly lines uh, to the drawings that I've done. I don't think I've missed anything for this particular uh, sketching that I did. I'd love to hear from you if you've tried drawing men's faces. Uh, I've always stuck to mainly drawing female faces, so this is a really good challenge, and I encourage everyone to give this a try and see what you can do. You might be surprised. Thanks for watching, and happy sketching!